Well, hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Starfield. Uh, in the last episode, things got out of hand very quickly. So I said I was going to go back to a previous save, and uh, the save... This, this is the first save that I have where things haven't gotten too out of hand. Um, I think at this point of the game, uh, I've already set off an alarm somewhere, but... We're fine right here, except for the fact that uh, there's a dude over there who's going to talk to us, and he's not going to like seeing us here. So I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to handle this. Maybe I just avoid them altogether. But uh, one thing that we can do is uh, speak with Juan. We've already done this, but we could do it again here real quick. Uh, let's see, I made it, to, yeah, I made it to the command bay, I set off an alarm, though, which is true, I did set off an alarm, don't really know how I did, but I did. Then let's try to work through it, and come up with a plan. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on, that'll provide some cover. Mm -hmm. I've hacked into the database, and it seems information on the comm spike is in the archives. There's a checkpoint you'll have to pass, which requires a clearance code. Okay. Um, and then Andre just says... Checkpoints have not been a problem so far. There's little reason to think this one would be different. I like the confidence. But remember, they tend to get harder the further you go. Hence, the clearance code. Try the security office. They likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located the comm spike. So, uh, she says go in dark. You know, she told me what to do right there. Uh, so that means try to avoid people even though I am wearing the suit. I mean, it doesn't look like much of a suit to me, but I, I, mean, I guess this is it. So you really kind of just need to stay away from these people. I don't know if I just simply, like, stroll by if it's going to be a problem. Um, but we can obtain a clearance code somewhere in that direction. I don't know if it's in that room right there or not. But, um... Yeah, oh wow, there's some ammo here that, for reasons unknown, is not stealing. And then this sparkling water is not uh, stealing either. I, I don't know why it's not. So, there's something over there. Let's see if I could just stroll in here. Do, 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 don't get too close to anybody. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, don't look at me. Um... Okay, so what I'm looking for is perhaps around the corner here. Oh, there's a guy right there. I'm just over here minding my business, looking at my food tray. La-di-da. Oh, oh. Okay, we're going to go in behind this guy. And we're going to go into security. And there's nobody in here. Okay, this is good. This is very good. Okay, so let's take a look at this computer here. We're going to look at this clearance code computer. Oh, I have to hack into it. Oh, great. Uh, we're going to use uh, this here, and then this here. And then we're going to use... Uh, well, I guess just these two things. They're both the same. Okay. We've hacked into the clearance code computer. Okay, crud. Um, oh, man, I don't remember whose outfit... I think we're wearing and skilled hacker is there nothing you cannot could you shut the door behind you Andresia please thank you all right who's whose outfit am I wearing uh Zeremi so we're wearing Zeremi's uniform so we went Z so we're gonna go Z and here are our daily clearance codes which I'm gonna take a picture of with my phone here because we're gonna need those Okay, we've done that, and now, now that we have done that, gotten a clearance code, uh, we need to find information with the comm spike, which apparently is in this direction here, but this room looks awesome. I want to look around in this room. I mean, you're just going to leave a digipack, digipick laying around. I'm going to take it. Oh my gosh, now here I am just taking things that don't belong to me. What? What? When does it end? When does it end? Ooh, there's a... You see Specialist Slate here. The Model A's we have in the armory are first class and will respond to any threat on the station. 
I don't have clearance to know what goes on here, but I know well enough that any security breach needs to be eliminated. Given the stakes, I've made it my personal project to bolster their weapon systems. And studying their call stacks, I feel like I can make some improvements in their programming subroutines too. But when I told the lieutenant, she responded with that grim stare of hers. She reminded me that I need to get approval through the proper channels before modding the machines on my own. Well, that's no fun. That's no fun at all. Okay, let's open this. Oh, this door's locked. Ah, oh, gee whiz. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get to unlocking here. Okay, this is a good one here. Okay, that'll take care of that. Then we can use a one -er. Do that. Um, that won't work. This will, but also leaves us with a one. Nope. Let's just uh, cruise on through here. We have a lot of ones, so we might be okay. Got this guy here. And then this guy. And then we've got uh, this guy. Oh, that was an easy one. And we're through. Oh. Okay. So, I mean, now that I have a clearance code... I don't think it's going to help me if I, like, talk to somebody face-to-face. -face. But I could be wrong. Gosh, I, I need to get on that computer right there. Um. Huh. Logistics over there. I'm just... Curious. Oh, there's a person standing there. Wow. This is kind of a neat place, though. I kind of want to just, I do kind of want to just go through it and shoot it up so that I can explore everything, but that's not what we're here for. So how do I get rid of these two so I can get to that computer there? Man, I better hit F5 because this is not going to go the way I want it to go. So we've got those guys standing, there's a computer I need right there. These two are standing right here. Are they going to... Oh, jeez, I got real nervous there and looked like for a moment he was going to get his weapon out. Um... Do, 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 do. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, it looks like that is not the computer I need to use. I need to go out here, go around. That was interesting, though. They're like, you don't belong here. Okay. Can I sneak past them? No, I really can't. So, what happens now? I guess this is when they challenge me. Need your clearance code, Marine. There we go. Uh, I've got a code. Since when is this area restricted? I must have gotten turned around or I've got a code. I'm not messing around with these people, man. I've got a freaking code. All right, Ensign. Let's hear it. Okay, the code is... Code is. Mm, I'm an ensign, so I need the ZX321D. You're clear, Ensign Zeremi. I assume the two of you are together? Uh huh. Yes, we are t together. <laughs> then you're both clear. Oh, such great security. Whew. That's really, really good security. Okay, so we're through, but I still feel like we're going to need to stay away from people. We do not want to get challenged. Okay, so now that we're through... Uh, well, I've entered the command bay. I need to find information on the project in order to locate the comm spike. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to make it through that door over there, it looks like. Here's a server room. This is... Ah, whoop, nothing. Nothing to see here. <laughs> nothing to see here. There's a person sitting right there. This place looks really neat. I'd love to... They freely explore it. Oh, we got some bunch of computers here. Data access computer. Data access computer. Data. I mean, I feel like I'm supposed to go through the door, but there's freaking data access computers here. I need to look at these. Beta project approvals. Current projects in beta. Uh, let's see. We, ooh, Comspike UCE86. All right. We need to remember that, right? 
UCE86. We're going to be asked about that later. We're going to need to type that into a computer or something. I don't know. Beta Project Leads. Uh, Project Lead Dr. Gabriel Vogel. Okay. Gosh, am I going to need to know that too? I don't know. Document everything. Oh, these are just all the same thing. I don't know why they have to have the exact same thing on all three computers. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a guy sitting right there I didn't even notice. He's terrible. He's the worst at security. Okay, do do do. Okay, there's a computer over here. Nobody around. Gosh, there's a computer there too. Data access computer. Projects. Uh, com spike. Of course, we want to look at everything because we're nosy. Uh, let's see. The status is active. Project leader, Dr. Marsha Penberry. Lab assignment, Engineering Bay 2, lab number one. Wow. Project lead in permissions. Current status project lead is Dr. Marsha Penberry. Project is under the supervision of both Commander Natara and Commander Ikande of UC Sistef. Security permissions. Rank security clearance Ensign Plus. Additional security requirements joint commander approval. Uh, Svalin proposal. The goal of Project UCE85, Svalin, is to create smart shielding designed to offer better efficiency and power economy for larger starships. Rather than generate shield power for all modules, the intelligent shielding would divert power on the fly based on predictive algorithms, taking advantage of data rooted in classical Bayesian inference and time series modeling. By calculating a number of high probability factors such as distance, enemy ship capabilities, and likely targets, the system would anticipate and generate shielding for specific modules before an attack occurs, rather than rely on in-the-moment computations that are too slow to be practical. Benefits, better, more concentrated shielding, more efficient energy consumption, increased power supply for other systems. No, there's no, there's no cons, just, just pros. Project approvals, let's see, uh, phase one, uh, looks like, oh, it starts at the bottom. So is project UCE85 received, approving officer commander, Kibwe Akande of UC Sysdef, project approved, development assigned to SY920, phase one construction approved for engineering bay two. We'll skip this one for now. Look at Tuser, project leader, Dr. Ju Ji Hyun Shim, engineering bay six, lab number two. Project lead and permissions, project lead is Dr. Ji Hoon Shim. For all inquiries, information and clearance, please consult the guide provided to you during orientation. Security and permissions, rank security, clearance, lieutenant, additional security requirements, none. Tuser proposal. Uh, the goal of Project UCA44, Tuser, is to create a guided missile targeting system that offers surgical ballistic damage to enemy spacecrafts. The use case for the system is to debilitate targets without destroying the ships themselves. Benefits, disabling enemy spacecraft without harming systems or crew, allowing for better recovery of resources and prisoners. More efficient use of weapons, increasing overall cost effectiveness. Project approvals received, approved by Victor Dubois, approved, assigned, engineering base six. Okay, and now let's look at UCE 86, comm spike. Uh, engineering bay four, lab number four. Again, do I need to remember that? Are we gonna, you know, have to find our way to engineering bay four, lab number four? Project lead and permissions. Okay, upgrade security clearance for engineering bay four. Project lead is Dr. Gabriel Vogel. All inquiries regarding the comm spike should be routed through him. All other matters should be directed to Commander Natara or the highest ranking officer on station. Security and permissions, rank security clearance ends in plus, additional security requirements, code clearance. Note, level four clearance should only be accessed with commander approval. Okay. Um, here's, here's where we would upgrade our security clearance. Before we do that, let's see what the proposal is. The goal of Project UCE86 Comm Spike is to create a highly sensitive receiver capable of picking up communication signals and decrypting them on the spot. Signal range would be star system wide at a minimum of 50 AU. The receiver would be strong enough to pick up traces of frequencies potentially weakened by distance, atmosphere, or a gravitational field. Decryption software would be smart enough to both decrypt any signal within nanoseconds and propose any missing or corrupted data. 
benefits. Distress signals become easy to locate and interpret. UC security could detect hostile frequencies before they become a threat. Hostile embedded messaging could be easily exposed. Communications across the system are greatly increased with fewer delays. And the approvals received, approved by Stefan Woods. Okay. Upgrade security clearance. Oh, that was easy. Activating elevator clearance protocols, authorizing, authorizing override. Engineering Bay 4 elevator clearance granted. Please report to Dr. Gabriel Vogel for further guidance. Yeah, we're probably not going to do that. Okay, so yeah, now go to Engineering Bay 4. According to the archive terminals, the comm spike is being developed in the Engineering Bay. So that's what we need to do now. I'm going to try to hit F5 regularly because we're going to get caught. Okay, it's pointing me in that direction. But wait, there's other computers in here to look at. Oh, open door. Huh, opened that door. This is records, same thing. Okay, again, I don't know why we need more than one computer to do that right next to each other, but hey, that's, that's how it is. Let's see if there's anything interesting to read or look at here. Oh man, that, that cred stick just slipped off the table and fell in my pocket. Do you see that? That was so weird. What are the odds? There's like one in a million thing happening there. It's crazy. Oh, here comes a person. Get out of the way. Okay, we're in here now. All right, secure access. Feels weird leaving all this stuff behind, but I'm trying to be a good a good boy. Emergency access computer. Open door, please. Thank you. Okay, we need to go over there. Check this out. Logistics office computer. Nobody locks their computer. Hotshot pilots. I hear they're bringing in some hot shot test pilots to the station. They should have asked me. I flew for the Vanguard. I would have saved them the trouble. Top secret project? Secrecy on this project is unlike anything I've ever seen. Hell, I feel weird just typing this. Well, probably delete later. People rarely exit the engineering bay elevators except when they get fired. The other day, some poor engineer named Eubanks came out engineering bay four with a box. They'll probably ship him off to Aaron A1 and bury him in it. Okay. Deleted. Deleted. Okay. Not sure if that's supposed to be useful information for me. Not gonna forget that fight anytime soon. Oh crap. Oh crap, that guy got his gun out. Oh crap. Oh crap. That guy got his gun out. And I'm really running out of spaces to hide. This is just the same computer? No, this is different. Top secret projects. Uh, whatever projects are being worked on here must be incredibly important. Key cards at every elevator, checkpoints on every floor. The CEOs don't tell us anything except when to eat, patrol, and sleep. Fine by me. The less I know, the fewer secrets I have to keep. Ensign Pallavi? What is Ensign Pallavi doing that requires him to type all day? <laughs> the worst part is he has one of those annoying one-finger typing techniques that is the equivalent of paint drying and zero gravity. Is he writing a novel? Because no single military report requires that much typing. He's made it so I can't even think because all I do is rage. Well, two can play at that game. I'm just going to type loudly and self-importantly until he can no longer keep the chapters in his story straight. No great fiction will be written by your hand tonight, Ensign Pallavi. Not if I can help it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Take this, Pallavi. Oh, nice. Just mash it on the keyboard. That's funny. Funny, funny stuff. Funny stuff. Okay, we need to go in that direction, but we just saw that there was a dude standing over there. So, nothing suspicious about somebody crawling around on the floor. Oh! Oh, 
got to get me some armor like Andreja has. Okay, there's a dude sitting right there. I, I just have to look at everything, don't I? close the door, but Andres is probably just going to open it behind me. SY920 Marine Slate. Maybe I've been watching too many vids, but this station scares the crap out of me. I hear footsteps in the vents, like someone's moving around inside them. Someone or something. I know we're not allowed to bring in custom firepower, but I'm not going to let some excessively alien looking creature get the best of me. I got some weapon mods smuggled in with my personal effects, and I just need to assemble them without the Lieutenant or Commander Natara noticing. Uh, do you think this is where the mods are in this storage crate? This should be really easy to open. And indeed it is. Some Mag storm, magnet, ammo, again. Locked that for a reason. Let us see what it is. Okay, we're gonna creep through here. Oh, which way is this guy facing? Wow. Nothing to report, he says. Oh, jeez. Um... Seems like no matter which way I go, he's facing the direction I'm trying to get past. Yeah, oh, maybe it's a different guy. Is it two guys? Well, I'm just going to walk by like I own the place. Do, 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 do. Okay, everything's cool. Uh, oh, jeez. There's people right on the other side of this pole. Oh jeez, they're they're walking this way. Um Oh gosh, they're coming right in here. Um How far are they gonna come? Okay, Andreja. Oh jeez. Okay, that person walked that way. Oh standing right No. What the don't point that at me. Okay, do to do. Do to do do do. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, we can make it to Engineering Bay 4. We've made it. This is kind of fun. All right. Look at the size of this elevator. All right, engineering bay four, here we come. <sighs> Locate the comp spike. I've reached the engineering bay where the comm spike is being developed by Dr. Gabriel Vogel. I can speak to Dr. Vogel or search for a terminal that might offer information on its exact location. Why are you suggesting that I speak with Vogel? Wouldn't that be like the worst thing I could do? Hi, I have no business being here. Could you tell me where this top secret item is? I swear I have clearance. Okay, whatever we're looking for is in that direction. Research labs. We got some people walking around down there. Mostly just looking around for slates to read because I like reading the slates. Oh, there's people down there. Interesting. Don't look at me. Look at this guy looking at me. Don't look at me. Whoa. Okay. 
But whatever I'm looking for appears to be downstairs. Ah, oh, but there's a computer in here. I don't see a person. Oh, it's locked. Oh, crud. Hold on. Can I get in there from this side? No, that person's turning around and walking this way now. She's standing there. She's gonna walk over there. No, these look like two separate rooms. Well, I mean, one of our methods of finding information is looking on a computer, and I see a computer in there. Oh, there's two people. I bet you one of those people is Gabriel Vega. No, just a scientist. Well, I'm going in. Hopefully we won't get in too much trouble here. Okay. Good. Nope. Um, this one. Then, um... Hmm. I think I'm screwed up. Oh, this will work. There we go. Okay, we're good. Your skill with Vox is admirable. Thanks. Okay. So, what's this big project you're working on? Well, I can tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Really? Couldn't you just trust me? No. Nope. Right out the airlock you'd go. But I'd try my best not to enjoy it. Right out the airlock you'd go. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, engineering lab computer. Project proposal XNN. Uh. Oh, there's a lot here. Overview. The question of whether alien life is intelligent is a difficult question to ponder without first asking what we mean by the word intelligence. After all, there is often a human-centric bias when we attempt to classify one species as smarter than the other. For example, we tend to view plants as less intelligent than animals because they lack a central nervous system, when in fact, mycorrhizal fungi have long developed sophisticated networks where plants transfer nutrients and minerals to each other without a centralized command center. We often hold the same view of machine intelligence versus biological alternatives. We rely on ship computer algorithms to dispense energy efficiently, the same way the brain directs our limbs. Yet in my study of xenofungal networks, ZNN, I've learned there is a better way. Rather than centralize ship control, if a collective intelligence can be used to direct ship power, it could increase sh speed and efficiency by a factor of two. Potential military applications. Faster computation in milliseconds can be the difference between victory and defeat in battle. Ships low on fuel reserves will be able to grab jump further when in distress. Financial boon from patents, if determined strategically safe to share, could provide additional funding for all departments. Potential civilian applications. Conservation of fuel and less dependency of mining additional reserves would benefit, benefit all mankind, not just the UC. Okay. Project Suspension XNN. From Commander Natara... I warned the department that cuts would be coming with Commander Wood's dismissal, and after conferring with MAST, I am recommending we suspend this project effective immediately. Your research into xenoneural networks is interesting, Dr. Ames, but in order for me to justify funding anything that involves alien organisms, we need to be able to pitch some kind of military application to the higher-ups. To have it appear as if we are violating the Treaty of Narayan without producing any actual weapons would be a foolish endeavor. However, my main concern is the budget. Along with the comm spike, this was one of Commander Wood's pet projects, and he seemed to have a heavy influence in several areas that I believe are outside his purview. I'm not making an accusation. I understand he had junior engineers serve as his liaison for much of this, and that is being investigated by my team. Let me be clear when I say I am not singling you out. More casualties should be expected, and I will send a message out to the entire team soon. Project Archangel from Dr. Sandra Rom. Hey, I'm sorry to hear about the suspension of Project XNN. It was bold and ambitious, as all your work is. 
but since you're now free, I was wondering if you might consider bringing that big, bold way of thinking to our project instead? I know the team has been trying to design a ship that will take full advantage of our pilot's flying prowess. And with the recent accidents, we could all use a pick-me-up. That's why I've drawn up this supplementary proposal to alter the engine and the fuel of the latest prototype. Historically, we've sought lighter elements. Hydrogen, as a property, is 57 times lighter than gaseous vapors and 14 times lighter than air. It's odorless and non-corrosive. Liquid hydrogen combined with oxidizers was basically the go-to fuel in old-school space exploration. And yeah, more modern engines have done the opposite, going with the weightier gravitational warping to bend space-time. So we made the switch from hydrogen fuel to helium, which is also way less flammable and requires less venting. It's the preferred choice in powering grab, grab drives. Now, I've always been a contrarian. Mom always said so. Anyway, so maybe this is all just full of speculation. But I wonder if a shift back to hydrogen-based fuel may be worth exploring. Given the crystallization process on other planets can enrich chemical properties in different ways and reduce hydrogen's more volatile tendencies, maybe we need to explore the possibilities of a hydrogen-based grab drive? I don't know, just a thought, but one that's been rattling around in my brain for a hot minute now. So after I dot my I's and cross my T's, I'm thinking of pitching the idea to Dr. Vogel next week. But I would love to hear your feedback on the idea first. Okay... And finally, budget cuts from Commander Natara. Once more, I am sending a reminder to all departments that we are doing extensive budget cuts as part of the internal audit into Commander Wood's tenure here. Most existing projects will be allowed to continue provided a realistic roadmap to completion has been submitted. Going forward, all new projects will have much stricter requirements for approval. A checklist for meeting this criteria will be supplied as part of your weekly briefings. Well, that didn't help us at all. That did not help us to locate the exact location of the comm spike. But that's okay. This is injuring live computers. Is it the same thing? It is not. Project UCE comm spike overview. Mission intelligence is one of the key factors in tilting the scales of war. One can go as far back as the 20th century when Alan Turing invented the bomb machine to decrypt the Enigma code the Nazis used to transmit messages. I know about Alan Turing, I know about the Enigma code, but I've never heard the machine called that before. It can be argued that having advanced knowledge of enemy tactics, plans, and intentions is of far greater value than superior firepower or numbers. Historically, this has proven so, and thus it is the opinion of Dr. Vogel and his team that the de development of Project UCE-86 should be prioritized over projects designed to provide a, a brute force solution to potential war, potential military applications. Whether it's quantum encrypted messaging or other forms of data masking, the comm spike aims to be a catch-all listening device capable of intercepting and decrypting enemy transmissions. Potential civilian applications. It's unlikely this technology would be shared with the general public unless a tactical weakness were found in the technology. If such a thing were to occur, the comm spike could be sold to civilian salvage teams. Their crew could use the device to intercept cold signals on planets with a high data encryption signatures or hail other ships in areas where data disruption is high. Here's phase one. Dr. Gabriel Vogel's project codename ComSpike is now underway. The scientists are unsure where the idea originally sprang from, as Dr. Vogel is notoriously private, but the concept itself is genius. Having the technology to be mo having the technology be mobile is a particularly interesting quirk. I've relayed the details of the proposal to the admirals at MAST. We've secured the necessary funding and will begin construction immediately. Engineers have been given blueprints, but as far as they know, this is simply a standard prototype construction for use in space warfare. The actual details of what is on board will come after the initial phase. And here's phase two. While phase one is not yet complete, the comm spike is now being developed by the scientists in tandem with the engineers. The two teams will eventually need to be merged, but for now, Dr. Vogel thinks it's best to keep the two teams separated 
he feels a friendly rivalry will lead to a more competitive spirit. Some of the engineers and scientists have even placed bets on which project will be finished first, not realizing both are part of Project UCE-86. Well, um, that still didn't exactly tell us exactly where the comm spike is. We got some ammos here. All kinds of stuff sitting around. Again, trying not to steal anything. Ooh, vents. Vents are fun to crawl around in. Plop. Let's see, uh, there's a person in here. Can't tell who it is, though. Okay, uh, well, I guess that's, um... Dr. Vogel right there. I can speak to Dr. Vogel or search for a terminal. Well, I mean, it's cool that we've found a vent to crawl around in, but there's people in there. There's a computer right there, but I don't know if we could get by with, or get away with, um, Am I stuck down here? Oh, wait a minute. I have a booster. Um, I don't know if we could get away with sneaking over and looking at that computer. I really don't. And in this room to our left, there's people standing there. But I don't see a computer in that room anyway. There's a computer right here. Another engineering lab computer. Oh, good grief. Well, lots of reading in this one. Project Archangel Supplementary Proposal. Project Hydrogen-Based Grav Drive Technology for Prototype Ships. Funding. Funds would most likely come from UC Military Defense Prototyping Budget, but the potential civilian application could draw grants from interested corporate parties. Engineer bandwidth. This would likely be a protracted endeavor, but the potential rewards would far exceed the costs. Would be far more predictable than quantum travel, both from a technical and cost perspective. Transfer of Archangel pilot. From Commander Natara. I'm requesting a transfer of the pilot Alex Vong, nickname or codename Archangel Azrael over to the UC Vigilance due to the accident on the project that killed two of his peers. He is in no mental state to continue, and we will need replacement pilots for both Project Archangel and Comspike. Until these new pilots are vetted, test flights will be divided up amongst the remaining roster of available testers. Leads will need to provide the pilots with a code to bypass the checkpoint. Huh. I think we met him. I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, we met him on the Vigilance. He's pretty full of himself, I think. Um, hmm. Accident that killed... Yeah, I think I even remember him talking about that. Regarding Project Archangel. Dr. Gustav Ames. Your project does indeed sound promising, Dr. Rom. Make your instincts your compass. And they will always point to true north. Unfortunately, I cannot commit my time or heart to something new at the moment. Moreover, I feel my presence would only hurt your chances in acquiring Mast's stamp of approval. The number of hurdles Project XNN encountered with pr procuring the specimens I required, both in terms of the hazardous terrain and the political nonsense that accompanies any deep space mission, as well as Commander Wood's involvement in my projects makes them a third rail. As such, it is in your best interests to make your proposal free of the baggage that comes with my name. Budget cuts. Uh, we read this one. And um, Dr. Vogel from Dr. Aaron Kang. Sandra, I'm not sure what to make of Dr. Vogel's request delivered on a paper napkin to turn his laboratory into a non-Euclidean space. He said you would know the details, but somehow I doubt that. 
As much as I love the ComSpike project from an intellectual standpoint, I miss working with you and Dr. Ames. I'm hoping Project CloudStrike can get greenlit and we can get the band back together. Should I just take this to Commander Natara? I've never met her before, but I feel like my concerns are valid. At times, Dr. Vogel doesn't seem like he's all there. And yes, Sandra, that there typo was unintentional, but I'm keeping it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Um, so, we got this woman in here. She hasn't challenged us yet. Oh no, actually I kind of don't like the way she's walking around. It's making me nervous. That computer we just looked at did not tell us what we needed to, to learn. So no luck yet. I see no vents or anything that I could use to crawl out of here. To avoid being caught. So, um... Okay, she's kind of looking in this direction. Eh, I think we're fine. She's not going to care if we walk out of here. Let's see here. Cool. Look at that. Neat. So we get some people down here. I don't recognize your faces. Are you new? New scientist. So they don't recognize my face, so I'm gonna just move on. Okay, yeah, that, that's Doctor. I guess that's Doctor Vogel. Yeah. But, like I said, I was hoping to find where the object is without talking to him. Oh, hello. How are you? Not going to find anything in the locker room, I don't think. Secu I don't think anything's going to be in security. Could be wrong. The station has gone under a lot of changes lately. Commander Natar is doing well, given she was thrust into this position. Uh-huh. Okay, do 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 do. Nothing to see here. Just a person looking at a computer. Uh, safety of our test pilots. Doctor Kang, Mast has indicated that the recent loss of test pilots is in no way a concern going forward for both Project Comspike and Archangel. They're committed to giving us their best, although it's likely given the accident, pilots will be transferred back to Sysdef as part of the reshuffling of departments. That being said, the origin of the mechanical failures should have been caught much earlier, especially considering the very large amount of credits budgeted for safety. I realize all of this was greenlit by my predecessor, but the fact that it occurred across multiple cycles in two separate projects is unacceptable. Budget cuts again. Uh, forward draft letter to Commander Natara from Dr. Marson Eubanks. Aaron, here's my draft to Commander Natara regarding the budget cut message she sent out to everyone. Let me know what you think. Commander Natara, I understand that some budget cuts are necessary, but I'm worried about certain benefits the team and I are, were used to receiving from Commander Woods. And I would rather not discuss it on the record. Besides, things are communicated better in person, and I would rather not hear your message through the computer like some ventriloquist's trick. I'm not saying things need to go back to how they were, but I think myself and my colleagues have earned something beyond the meager salary Mast has so generously provided. That's all I'm asking here. Compensation requisite to the work we do, and I don't think that's asking for much. If you'd speak to us human being to human being rather than as a mouthpiece, mouthpiece for Mast, maybe we could come to an accord. Yeah, don't send that message. <laughs> Did you read my draft? Aaron, I sent you a draft of my letter to Commander Natara on behalf of the engineering team. What do you think? Too revealing? Too harsh? I did avoid calling her a dummy and changed the line to say mouthpiece. <laughs> to be honest, I was banking on the benefits from the various projects Commander Woods had to set up. I've got a mortgage back in New Atlantis and a kid on the way. And of course, Dr. Vogel is no help. I don't think he even realizes Project Comspike started out as another bullshit proposal we made up to fatten our pockets. It does help that the, the Comspike project is near completion. 
Whenever Commander Natara questions one of the projects greenlit by the previous command, we could always point to that as a success. Let's just ignore the inordinate, inordinate, inordinate amount of creds put into the safety budget and the possession of dead pilots that make everyone doubt the number on the page. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. No. Okay, I'm gone. See you later. Bye. <laughs> we still haven't found where the um, the the thing actually is. So we will uh, do some more exploring uh, in the next episode. But it's time for me to end this one here. I'm having fun exploring this place. This place is pretty awesome. I hope you're having fun watching me do it. If you are, why don't you let me, let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.